Hello everybody, I'm Alex from MedSchool.it and in this video I'm going to show you how do you subscribe for the IMED exam. So right now you can see I'm on the Universe Italy website, that's uh, universeitaly.it and the first step we will need to do is to switch this whole thing to English and this is really important. Uh, so you click here and if you don't do that the, the rest of this process will be very complicated to go through so just uh, follow this one. Now, if you scroll down, you will see this IMAT test 2017, and you will need to click on this link, which will uh, take you to this page. So basically here it says where you can see the Italian guidelines, and uh, here is the button you should press to go to the subscription. Once you do, uh, it will ask you for your login details, but chances are you don't have one yet. So first step would be to go and create one by going here to why and how to register. And on this page you have this join now button. Okay, so this page is really important that you really check well what you are filling in. I will just fill in some demo details that uh, I will use for our test here. So the first name is really important. It, it has to be your full name. So if your name is Maria, Chiara, whatever, you write it all here. And it's really important you do. Also your country of birth or and all the other things are really important that you select those correctly. And I'll explain in a moment why exactly. So birthplace here is a city, birth of date, all those things are quite self-explanatory, gender, citizenship. And now we come to the first sort of question here, it says fiscal code. If you're not an Italian citizen, then the website will actually propose for you to use this uh, fiscal code that will, it will show in green. Whatever you do, copy this code because you will need it. And before you generate it, you make sure everything here was correct. So all your birth date, all your uh, personal details are correct because all of them will affect this fiscal code. And this is basically uh, an equivalent to a social security code or some ID code which is used in different countries. And this is your unique uh, identifier code. So save it somewhere because you will need it many more times later on during the process. Now we come to the email address and I have a temporary address I use this here so don't try to contact me there because it won't work. Uh, your cell phone number is cellulare, they probably didn't translate it very well. Identity card, you can choose here, probably you'll need a passport, the, the number of this passport issued by is, uh, for example, I don't know, Rome or uh, whatever, whoever was the issuing uh, uh, entity. Valid from is the beginning of the validity of this document. And here they didn't translate uh, the scadenza means basically expiry date of this uh, document. So I will just choose here something. Now place of residence is really important. So if you have a residency in Italy, so you have a residency card, a permesso di soggiorno, which is the residency card in Italy, then you should choose it. Otherwise you should choose your uh, current uh, place of residency. And your address as well. Okay, so once ready, you say, you, you click save here. Okay, now you get this message that the registration was complete, but that actually was just the registration to the website, not the registration to the IMAT yet and you need to check your email. So I'll go real quick and check if I have any new emails and actually I do. So I have this email from uh, Universe Italy which says um, okay complete confirm the process click here. So I'll click this link and it uh, 
validates that my email is actually existent. And when I do this, a uh, web page opens up and I need to choose my password. So I'll just choose here something real quick and click save. Okay, so at this stage we have a username. You can see that we're logged in already. So you, you can see, sorry about that. You can see that we are logged in by this username uh, appearing here. You can modify your personal data, but it's actually not what we need to do. And to go for the IMET now, we need to go back to the main page. So I'll click on this logo here of University. I will scroll again, so make sure it's English just in case every time. Scroll down to IMAT test, click on this Iscrizione link, and now you don't have this login page that we used to have before. So Inscrivity is the next step. And here you need to do your uh, first, second, third choice and so on. You have some information here on the top regarding the new universities. And your first choice is a very, very important one, right? So the rest are of less importance if you are a non-European student, uh, maybe just as important if you are a European student. And here to proceed after you select um, your first choice university, your second choice university and so on, uh, then you can uh, proceed here and you have to click this little checkbox which means that you uh, allow them to use your personal data and so on and so forth and then you can click uh, proceed now before that you can you see here they write some uh, information about modifying your choice so basically you can modify this choice um, relatively easily before you pay for the IMET but that becomes more difficult after you pay, but it's still possible. So we hope we won't need to change anything. We, we click proceed here. Okay, and now you, you, you choose your certifications here. If you have any English language certification, it's optional as you can see, so you don't have to have them. And um, that's your first choice appearing, and then you can uh, click proceed here. Now, in this next step, let me make it bigger. This next step, you have to uh, select where you would like to uh, sit the IMED exam. And here, for example, you can say whatever, Germany. Click Next. Here it will show you which are uh, the available centers. Um, so here, for example, Germany, I cannot book it any longer because it's fully booked probably. So I'll select a different center. Oh, by the way, it looks like you could um, actually contact them to see if there are more places. Let's see, maybe United Kingdom. Okay, this one appears to be black, so I can select it. Next. And here, basically, I come to the payment um, page where uh, I can see that I will have to pay 105 pounds in this case. And I just need to enter my credit card number and the cardholder details. And then I can just um, click here that I've read the terms of agreement and proceed. And that should be all. So uh, I'm not going to do this because that's already the step that will cost me money to demonstrate to you. But I'm sure you can uh, go uh, the rest of it uh, without my help. Okay, I hope it was helpful and... Uh, uh, good luck with the exam.